five, four, three, two, one. Hey, Mr. Craig. Hey. I like your jigs over there. You're you yeah, matching furniture with your matching I outfit. I have not even thought about that. All I have is like the robot master behind me, making sure I don't say anything bad about him. Yeah, it just happened to to match. I just grabbed the shirt and put it on. I was wearing I was Indeed. wearing just a ratty old sweatshirt, but I thought I'd put on something a little bit nicer to speak to you. Okay, well, just just for you and the audience that Mr. Craig has decided not to put on a ratty old sweatshirt. So, thank you so much. We are all appreciative. <laughs> hey, so last time, uh, our last adventure was a live our live meeting at Microsoft that was so well attended we ran out of everything. Yes. Food, everything, everything ran out. It was the first time that's ever happened, actually. So it said that next time we do it over there and do something like that, I definitely buy at least one extra pizza. Yeah, we ran out of pizza. We ran out of salad. We ran out of swag. We uh, we we had a couple extra seats, but could have. Holy smokes! That and that was well attended for the folks that are. If you're watching this right now, thank you so much for attending. We hope that we'll be able to, uh, as they say, service your needs going forward over here. But we are the user group. We are the community. We are here for the community. And we, we wanted to do like uh, when we can't meet, uh, we do something like like this, like a little podcast to give you. Uh, basically to connect you between sessions and everything else. Uh, and we wanted to do something a little bit different because we've done sort of like this before. And then we'd have like a presentation and just go ahead and do it. Everyone does that sort of stuff. But we want to do something different. Craig is like, you know, so many changes happening on Power Platform. How the heck do you do stuff now? I mean, this is literally, it's like the cheese truck uh, that is set to go to all destinations. It's like the Amazon Prime of cheese. It's set to go everywhere. And there's no one specific place. Everything has moved. So folks like Craig and myself, even uh, I'm counting myself in that. Uh, every time we come back to do something in Power Platform, it's sometimes we have to reacquaint ourselves and say, hmm, what the heck is here? Where did this go? How do you do what I thought was easy to do? Right. So that's what our topic is today. Yeah. Uh, so before we even get into that, that just sure. reminded me, I forgot what we were doing today. Well, Indeed. I kind of knew. <laughs> Not well. Normally, if if we can and we have it prepared, we do yes. um, ahead of time. We will do a virtual meeting. Um, we just That's been true. so I've been so busy at work, like I have not, um, I have not had a time to even prepare for a meeting or put slides but together. You've been so traveling was, and stuff too, yeah. Oh yeah, I was in India for a week. Um, oh so, boy, whoa! Yeah, that was that was actually That's really not cool. exactly a little thing. That's like a big deal. Yeah. The, man, that plane ride is a brutal thing. I don't know how people do that a lot. But uh, I flew through Paris, so that was an, <laughs> that was a, a little bit of a nice thing. They Paris a very nice airport. I had a couple hour layover in. I got to turn around that um, tour that. But it's a it was a nine hour eight hour flight to Paris and then a nine hour flight to Delhi. Um, so it takes what airline, by the way. I flew Air France. That's why we went through Paris. Okay. I, I just needed the endorsement because I, if I ever do that, I might do exactly what you did. So um, so there's a couple schools of thought on that. But I, I well, so I was going to do <laughs> Delta. But so it was kind of Air France through Delta for the first leg. And then it was Air France. Um, and that was what my company what would fall and what my company would pay for. Um, mm. I Probably I should have done United because that's the one I normally fly, but that would have been a flight through Newark, I believe, and then a long flight to Delhi. So, whoa, that would have been a really long flight. Wow. I that's what most of my coworkers did, but I didn't know if I wanted to fly all that way at one time. I would say if you can do it and you can upgrade into, you know, the, um, what do they call it? Business like class? business class or whatever, right? Then I, I would yeah, do it we're that way. Yeah, we have but... a place you can like lie down and sit and like sleep. Oh, I've done business class recently. We got upgraded because of a, a big mess up recently. And yeah, totally. I'm I'm just saying the money may be worth it. Just saying. But I had this fly coach and I didn't want to pay for the upgrade. And now it's oh. it's good for people like us who are like, I'm five nine. I believe you're five nine, five eight, right? So we Indeed. fit in the seat. <laughs> you know like it's if true. i was six two six three i would hate life but uh oh. you know because yeah, but uh, i got lucky that 
<laughs> I got lucky coming back. There was nobody in my my row. There was one person. There was I was in a two seater, so there wasn't sitting anybody next to me from Delhi to Paris. Um, but from Paris, the guy in front of me was probably six four, and of course he reclined his seat into my lap for most of the flight. So, um, that <laughs> oh, wasn't man. particularly nice. I really hate the fact that airplanes, <laughs> like the seat, will go back. Like, I mean, there's nothing you can do. What you can do? What could you do? I mean, I get a little bit, but it doesn't need to go. I don't know. Just don't put it in my lap. But um, <laughs> I digress. But it was a really cool trip. Um, I'd never been to India before. Um, the driving there, their their roads are very interesting. Like they drive, if it's three lanes, they drive five to six wide. Um, uh-huh. and they cut in and out, and they do a lot of honking. And I didn't realize this at first, but they do a, ha- a lot of honking just to let you know where you're at. So that. Yep. You don't it, it's it's it. sort of like you know like it's like the sound waves you get when you're like a fish trying to make it through the corals <laughs> yeah i thought it was angry i thought it would be more angry but then i realized that it wasn't it was just kind of informative it, type it, hey, hey buddy we're here de, 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 come on hey. and then after a while i thought this would be kind of cool to try like it felt like a race car game and then I did that. <laughs> so um but i i'm pretty it was pretty good just being driven around um, the food was pretty good. The whole, the people were super nice. I don't know. It was a really good time, but pretty sure. But the flight was something to beat. <laughs> the flight was while they were good, they were long. So, um, but uh, yeah. Well, yeah. So I, you know, I'm used to that for going to uh, the Philippines and places like that. So, you know, uh, this is uh, it's it's the case of like looking for another thing. But yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to. I know I have to make that pilgrimage, as they say over yeah. there so uh, it's nice to hear another perspective and yeah we're all about tips over here folks because in our business clearly we're likely to have the same need for that experience to be sure uh, yeah so I, I had been to germany a few times and to vienna um and in that area so i've done the eight to nine hours Deutschland, yeah i had not done that far to india so uh, well that's that's not so bad that's just essentially you feel like you're let's just say culturally it's closer to us i guess is the best way to put it yeah so now i feel like a trip to new york or seattle would be easy but, uh, <laughs> here we go um i digress no so my, my thing was going to go into um i started to say when you said hey you know things are moving what do you think of the new power automate studio it's been out for a little while but ah the ui oh so that's the first topic the new power automate ui i personally um, don't like it you because everyone got used to the old way which was like the dynamic especially with a dynamic thing when you clicked on it you it felt like you had more intellisense in your yes. face that way the other one is not so much you're like wait, you're you're missing that immediate what what we thought was an immediate reaction for this stuff the thing is though it was almost like we're taking away something because we're trying to make you use something else like weaning us away from a certain thing Here's what I did find out. Remember that little co-pilot sidecar thing that's yeah. going on? Turns out that's even more helpful now than it was before and anything else. And I find myself, instead of going in and fucks, futzing with that, you know, with that dynamic piece over there, just ask the co-pilot, can you just do this? Yeah, you and may want to find out if that works or not. But sometimes it works new. and sometimes it does not. And that's what we're going to, that's another topic I want to cover today for sure. Yeah, while you got your screen open, can you just pull up the new Power Automate? Um, oh yeah, let's go, let's go, let's, let's look it up. Let's go, let's go there. get Power Automate going. Now I'm using a, what's called a particular dev tenant that has been properly updated. So by the way, there was like a thing going on. Microsoft is now switching over uh, from remember release wave 2023 to last release wave. Now the new release wave 2024 is upon us. So things have been in flux. And things have been a little bit funky for me of late, all right? So um, I asked Microsoft, hey, it's sort of, some things are sort of breaking for me. What happened? It's like, well, um, all the tenants are getting the wave, right, in bunches. You might have been caught in the middle of a wave and you didn't have stuff, so that's why it broke. Uh, At least I'm assured that this particular tenant that I'm using, it's not our M365 tenant, otherwise I'd use that, for sure is up to date on the latest piece right uh it, the only thing it does not have yet is the 2024 release wave there are some changes in that but i also was assured that none of those changes affect what we're about to do here today including 
uh, taking a look at the Power Automate interface. So how would you like to look at it? Would you like to look at it from the standpoint of asking Copilot to set something up? Yeah, or if you want you to, just do a simple control. approval workflow or something. You could. All right. So let me go over here to the other developer environment, which again, I've double checked anything. I'm going to I'm just going to show you what the settings, by the way. You have to make sure if you want your Copilot AI stuff to really, really work. It, uh, so this one has all the doodads pretty much ready to go. So let's try something. What 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 would we like to create and automate over here? What, would uh, like to do? what about just creating a simple approval workflow to approve a uh, vacation request or PTO request? To approve PTO requests to the to uh, the individual managers of the different um uh control to departments that works departments. okay let's start with that uh maybe i'll fix the spelling i don't have to be perfect with the spelling should be oh hold on. look at this check it out suggested flow descriptions check this out here uh post a message to the team starting an approval process with when each new item is creating sharepoint for each new item Create an approval and messages sent to teams. Start an approval process. So this is approval process. We but where's the approval process? It says it's suggesting I need an approval workflow to approve things. Uh, it yeah, will, let's just grab the first one. It, okay, let's grab the first one. Here we go. Let's do easy. Oh my gosh, it didn't let me modify it. It just took it. I wanted to take it and then do something with it. All right, let's see what it has. When an item is created in SharePoint. Post a message in the channel. I'll uh, show a different suggestion. It's still saying when items created in SharePoint, uh, I'll show a different suggestion. No, these are, and here's the third, when an item is created in SharePoint. So I still need a SharePoint list in this particular case. But in this case, though, I'm going to say, because it said Teams, it's probably assuming that your Teams, uh, because you're using Teams underneath the SharePoint, you're using a list for something to happen. So let's yeah, go. Yeah, I, I think that's more down at the bottom where it's going to post the message, the approval into Teams. Like it's got to post yes, the message. Yes, it does to post it into Teams is where where it's going on. So let's right. like let's look at our three choices over here. By the way, it always gives you three choices. Uh, here we go. Uh, when a message, post a message in the channel, create an approval, wait for the approval condition, create a task in Planner. That's actually good. That's I like fun. that. Um, when an item is created, start, wait, and wait for an approval, but it doesn't say where. It's hanging out somewhere. Condition. I don't like this one at all. <laughs> wait approval. The first one is the best because like it goes straight to a team because then we can at least point it to something. Okay, let's go next. All right, it's doing all this from scratch. Stand by. Please stand by. Let's go get our permissions. I believe, though, it's all set for the accounts. Approvals, it's all set. OK, it's good. Let's create the flow. All right, so the first thing it does is it shows you what you need to set up. But notice you have Copilot here on the side where you can ask it to do stuff. Yes. All right, so let's click on let's that. For an item to be created. Let me go to invalid parameters, the site address. Let's go see what we have. We don't have a site that's ready to go. We have a SharePoint site. Uh, let's go find out. Maybe because I need a team site first. So let me go set up Teams. Oh. Uh, got to sign in for the first time on this particular CDX tenant. By the way, CDX means it's a partner tenant, but really this could be your dev tenant or whatever tenant you've got. All right, stand by. Oh, they're setting things up for you. All right, we do have a, a general chat uh, area that was created. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, one last thing, let's go into Teams over here. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going, here's the Contoso general team site. Um, and we can go to files over here and we can see that we have our files right over here. This is the first time it's being set up. So that's probably why it didn't see it, it, it immediately. But right now, see, I click on files. Yeah, no. I have to give it a moment. Good job. 
do. We get a new team. Because he's still creating it. By the way, if you were doing learn at Microsoft.com and you were given like a, a play tenant, this is the same issues you'd run into. Right now, I'm here as the master. Uh, let's go back to teams here in a second. Files. Files. Come on, baby. Stay in the know. I wonder if I can create a team in the meantime. A uh, team from template, team from scratch. Let's do, uh, I'm going to do one for incident. Uh, oh, you, you said PTO, retail yep. for managers, manage volunteers, uh, onboard employees. Oh, these are, it's a bunch more stuff in here. We should play with this stuff a little bit more. It's it's not much power <laughs> platform, but it's like, you know, it's good to know what's inside of SharePoint. Let me go manage. Well, I got to play with all of it because, um, would be a good little thing to do so all a lot of this is new right like i didn't remember these teams from templates being this um this new but if you go to power platform like there's got a new look and feel to the the front end of the the studio and then if you i think we talked about this be last time um if you go into ui builder there's a lot more options than when i first started using ui builder this is true so right now, while it's it's creating a team over here, uh, and let me go back to teams for just a moment. It's creating, a, I'm making a new team called the Voluntolds. I'm going over here and I'm going to files one more time and hopefully it's ready to go. There, there we, we go, go. This folders. Now it's ready to go. So now here's the thing. What I have to do though, is I have to go open it in SharePoint just so I can at least see the URL. Right. I usually like to, that's one of the things that I usually go maybe later and see over there. Okay, so I have, basically this over here, all items in SharePoint. So let's go take a look at this now over here. And as we see, here's here's part of the issue, right? We don't we don't have a way of quickly finding this stuff. When we say enter custom value, right? We go dynamic. There is no dynamic content, right? The list we is don't that even have. On purpose it or is it because you went into this control before the, the site was created it has to be refreshed ah, i went in, that's true let's go find out let's take this down let's go here post to a messenger channel and find out if it's got a, a channel now all right so post as i'm going to post as the uh oh look at this power of virtual agents preview as the bot i thought well, that became bot, copilot as a particular user i'm going to say go ahead uh, just do the flow bot for now post in let's see if it finds it now Channel. I want to find a channel. And here we go. Should find a team now. Hi. Ah, look, the voluntolds. Let's go into the voluntolds. We should be able to have the general channel in here. And add a message. Hey, you. And let's go see what sort of dynamic stuff it can give us. There is no dynamic content. You see what I'm saying? It's like, this is the part that gets folks because I know there's something. There's gotta yeah. be something from the previous stuff, but it's saying that there's not. Well, and it might be because you've not gotten any information yet. Right, now if I do this, obviously I can go in, this is the old way, and find some functions to find some sort of information, right? Let's not do that yet. Let's go ahead, I have that fixed. Let's go see if we can fix this guy. But he, we see, look, we still can't put him in, right? We All do right. have a, we do have a, uh, a SharePoint URL. site thing. Uh, where do we put him? Nope. Uh, we had a SharePoint site. Where'd it go? Here he is. So it's shared documents. So let's go ahead and copy this. That's too far. You only need the uh, site. Let's hope so. It's true. I only need the site. In theory, um, actually, and I think it's called the Voluntold should be the other site. Voluntolds. Let me see if that works. Voluntolds. And nope, it didn't like it. Do you spell it right? Go I try the know. URL in the uh, other tab. Let's go see. Let's go to Teams and find out. Here are the Voluntolds. 
go to files and let's go to uh, open SharePoint. Let's see if it's called the voluntolds. It is called the voluntolds, so I don't see what the problem is. Let's go back, go back. Now hit enter. It looks like a site address to me. And the list name should be shared documents. Yeah, but I wonder if work. it's just not picking it up yet. Like, if you would close but, out. See, remember the Teams one to picked back. it up, just no, without a problem. Teams is better. <laughs> so the Teams worked. All right, so let's go ahead and put this one up here again. Enter custom value. And the list name should be shared documents. Uh, for documents. See, this is a problem, right? If one thing is, is showing you, then now, now you're like, it says invalid, right? But now you, how do you fix it? What do you put so in I there? would try this. This is how, what I would do. First thing I would do is close out of the flow and then go back into it. Cl close out of the flow. Oh, so that that's that's no good. Right. I can't so help that. Got, That's how I fix screen. things. Go back and reset or just reset my browser. For the parameter for when is not created. Look, it's not letting me close it out. Just refresh your browser and see what happens. All right. Reload. Yeah, it'll mess everything up. And does it kill it? So uh, Microsoft, pay attention. This stuff messes us up. Now there's nothing. Now I had a SharePoint Boom. trigger. We'll start from scratch. See, we have to start from what was the point of using the copilot if it didn't work? Let's do that copilot again and see now what happens. Yeah, I, I think it's just because you didn't was, have the That was horrible. Thing. That was a horrible experience. I know. Right? Now you can so package this up and attention. send it to Heather. Let's go ahead. I want an approval workflow for my team members in the Voluntolds team. Uh, to request PTO from their their manager. And this is why we do demos live, so we can catch all the bugs. Exactly. Because you never want it to work right when you're doing it. Workflow. Okay, one second. A request will come from That's what we want. a posting to uh, SharePoint. Hey, wait a minute. What did it do? You hit enter already. It knew. I You're did. good. This is the same workflow we had. Oh, don't do that. Of course, I hit back. And so what happened? I lost it. <laughs> and, uh, Ralph, do I want to drive this? Workflow. I want to approve a workflow for my team members in the fallen told team to request PTO. From their manager. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead, post a message to Teams to start an approval process. Okay, it says just put now, this is different now. Now it's different. So I can go ahead and generate this. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And wait a minute. No, still, it chose SharePoint. Show a different one. Show a different one. Okay, it looks like we're back again to that exact same thing. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, come on, Ralph. Let's be quicker. Next. <laughs> I'm impatient today, sorry. Okay, here we go. All right, this looks exactly the same like where we were before. Ooh. And then now it just, it's still, it's still asking for the, for the, the SharePoint channel. So hit enter a custom value. So do you can you just paste it in or do you have to actually hit enter? I thought you had to hit enter custom value. Otherwise it didn't like it. Is that so just me? Custom value. It's still there. All right. It's still there. Let's check. Okay. Same problem. What happens if you do the other, like the main SharePoint site collection? What do you mean the main SharePoint site? Oh, you mean from the top? Yeah. 
no, that's the that's the root. So let's go let's go back to a different tab and go to SharePoint and see what we get. Okay. So you want to start from from blank? No, no, now. no, no. Don't don't leave here. Go to a different tab. Different tab on the browser. Different tab in the browser. And let's go to like here just the, go to like the the waffle and just go to SharePoint and see what we see. Okay. All right. All right. Can we see sites? Look at let's look at a site. So yeah. Why is it not showing the voluntold site? I don't know. do a search for this voluntold site. Because it's never that easy. Ooh, no volunteer. So this is our problem. Well, look so under it's uh, it, for whatever reason, voluntolds is not found. And maybe because it's hidden. Let's go back to the team then. Nothing. All right. So I'm but I'm looking at it right Do you here. have not have permission for it? Uh, but I'm the administrator. I can see uh, anything. Don't and know. I just opened it. I'm looking at it. It's, is it because it's a private site? I don't think so. To create it as right, a private site? Contoso, then. So let, let's go ahead and put in Contoso and see if that's the problem. All right, let's go back. Hey, send feedback. Uh, no, you don't want me to send feedback right now because no, this is not happy. Because <laughs> right, that was bad. And this time we're going to put Contoso. All right. Now it's looking at, so it never found. Okay, and then the list doesn't show up. All right, well, it thinks it's this, so I'm gonna just leave it. Advanced parameters. Um, that's okay, check every minute, that's fine. All right, let's do the team chat. And we're going to say the Flowbot post in uh, the channel. And the channel will be Contoso. It found Voluntolds earlier. See, it founds it. But I'm just going to do Contoso for now. Something's wrong. But this is interesting. So that's great. We're going to go in and do that in just a moment. OK, general channel. All right. Um, so it kind of makes me. Uh, so if we're trying to sell, if we're trying to be people who are promoting <laughs> Power Automate right now, we're not doing a very good job. Exactly. Well, here's the thing, though. This is what we were talking about. Is this interface better than the last one? If we did it, but here's the thing: the the, the copilot took us here. So I want to create an approval. The approval type is uh, um, first to respond, approved or reject. Uh, the title we like uh, PTO OK. Uh, assign to, and uh, we'll see if we can put in. Here we go. Check it out. Now we get information at least. Now we're getting the information where, where we see that person's coming in here. But we're going to put here. We're going to put the admin, uh, the admin account. Let me go. Ahead I still don't know that I like this view. The other right. one was clunkier, but it was more straightforward. Let's go ahead and get an admin. The active user just want to get his account real quick. It's our favorite, uh, our favorite people. And uh, here's his account. All right, just just we want to get that in there. OK, details um, and it's like, you know, just do it. Uh, item link, no item to uh, link to the item to approve. OK, so it links to the item. So we need the ID of the list. Uh, item link, let's see. Let's just do the title. All right, wait for an approval. The ID of the approval, let's see. 
Rule IV. Okay. All right, seems to be going on creative task. Oh, we need a planner. The group ID is Contoso. The plan ID. We have a plan or do we have to create a plan? The plan for the new task. Um, and let's go and see if we can create a plan ID. I don't think when we have a plan. When an item is created, that's SharePoint. There's see more. Uh, the plan ID, a plan of, uh, ID of the new task. Wait for an approval, create an approval. I don't see an ID here. Post much to the chat. See more. There's nothing here in planner. So what? Where is this plan ID that it needs? We what don't know. We, I would think you'd have to associate it to an actual planner board or whatever, right? So do we have right? One of those? So don't we have a planner board with it? Let's go see. Do we? Right. Uh, let's find out. So here's here's Contoso. We're going to add a planner. More tasks by planner to do. Uh, let's see. If there's an existing plan. There should be. Oh, there isn't. No, there isn't because you haven't generated it yet. All right, so let's go let's create it. All right, um, let's add a new bucket. Yo, yo, now. Here we go. ETO rejects. There we go. All right, why not? All right. Uh, now we have a we have a plan. We're good. Tasks. Let's go see if we can add it in here. But now we got to go somewhere else, probably. Uh, enter our custom value. Let's go here. I still don't see it. It's the same problem as the SharePoint one. And I'm just going to just say ID here, see if it if it takes it and title PTO status. All right, and that's it. Just leave it at that. All right, so some of the issues we were talking about over here, not so much that we're going to make this work, right? Is this area, as you can see, though, this part, remember that used to be down over here, is here. Yeah. All right, there is the concept of see more. It's giving you what it thinks should be over here. All right, uh, but otherwise it's really asking you to do this. Uh, add a uh, uh, add a case for approval that needs to be reviewed by another, allowing the first approver to um, uh, forward this to someone else. Let's see what it does. Just curious. Let's see how fancy it gets. Okay, check it out. Look what it did. It nested. Oh. So, so actually, this is actually pretty cool. The condition, and here's the condition, and the condition was Body stat equal to forwarded. Uh huh. Okay. That's all fine and well. Let's go see these uh, choices again with our dynamic stuff. The dynamic stuff is looking pretty good. All right. Again, this is what you used to have down here. Remember the classic view? In fact, can we get to uh, see we have new designer? Let's go see this now in the old designer. Save and switch. Aha, save and switch. Switch. Uh, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Come on. This is the old version. We have a warning. Power Automate has not been installed. Run this environment. Okay. 
The other one didn't say so, by the way. But yeah, that's probably the warning probably should have been there in the flow checker. I didn't see that. Yeah, All right, so let's see what it did. Uh, in fact, here's when the items created in our site. Check oh, it out. Look, there are the voluntolds. There's the voluntolds is working perfectly over here. So now I want voluntolds. And, and what what is the the channel? We're looking for a channel. We needed a listing. We still have right. documents. So it's there. We had documents. Now. Advanced options show up over here. So we could have, let's go back to Contoso for just a moment. And the list again, it, you notice it's not a check. It's just a an area. Also, you'll see that there is no formula for it, right? It's a flow bot. We wanted the channel is in here. The team is, we could have said voluntolds. The channel is general. The message, and remember, this is the old, this is the old st style down over here, right? It gave you expression in the next order down, and then what you had to know what you were looking for over here. Same thing, all right? So here, here's the first uh, the first piece. The other one looked more like a, a workflow. You saw, remember how it was all spread out? But you see how this one goes straight down on the yeah. area? And here's our condition, and then it breaks down with creating the task. Let's see about this. The, see, the plan ID is still an X. Let's take this out. And let's go see. The group ID should have been the, the task. But I don't see, see, these are all SharePoint. I had the same problem here. It's not showing planner. <clears throat> Let's see, plan. See, planner's not here. Well, it wouldn't be. in there. I guess the plan ID is just uh, whatever it wants it to be called. Oh, check it out. Look at, look at all the other pieces that it showed up for me automatically. Yeah. The other one didn't do any of this. So I mean, just this, a uh, so just a reminder when you go to do the when you go to do the dynamic stuff, yep, it only shows the uh, it only shows the information from upstream on the flow. True. So if you don't have a place where you call the planner, it's not going to show a planner ID. So you're, I have to have a plan ID. Ah, so you you're assigning to... the plan ID here. Right. So what happened was, if you recall, our planner over here. Let's go back in here. Here's our plan. We did not have a plan necessarily. Um, so any item you're is this, doing is this now, not the plan general? <coughs> yeah, I don't know how you would assign a plan ID unless you knew exactly. it. So that just seems weird. But that seems weird. So I'm going to add a task. It's like a PTO request. The due date, I'm just going to do, not started. OK, that's all fine and well. I'm just going to leave it as is. That's the only thing you can do over here. Right. Well, if you think about it, you're inserting into the plan. Mm -hmm. Why would you need to know the ID? Doesn't that make the insert make the ID unless you want to call it? Very good. The only you time you would get a, that you would have the planner ID is if you were calling the plan. So I don't know what you do here. But. Exactly. So right now, I think it's it's almost asking you. It seems like it wants you to make up your own ID. Yeah. Uh, the, I, and the ID is like based on. I'm going to call it the same the same ID as the approval ID. So whatever That's the approval what ID, do. and you're done. Uh, bucket ID. All this stuff though was extra. And I would uh, in the old way, this was a this was a mess. Yeah. The new way seems a little bit better in that it focuses you on what you actually need to get it done. Yeah. This one over here does leave, you know, leave it up to chance. Plus, you don't have the copilot sidecar to help you add and do any more things. Right. So let's go back right. to the new designer and then see if we can find the voluntolds. Yep. Did it just take a little bit lag? That would be my question. Let's see.
and this came down a rabbit hole i wasn't really planning on going but we did <laughs> so, but this, this is good and this is what we mean by like every time we come back to this we find something different and then we have to ask now you know what we haven't done we haven't asked the co-pilot to tell us what the f to do <laughs> that's i'm going to get to that in, just in a little bit there but oh, hey, you're all told. is now there yeah so it might have been just a timer thing or just a all right so uh rule of thumb you know what this happened as as we saw it happened in the old flow also in the new one when you're doing stuff and you're doing things on the spot if things are not ready be prepared to have your experience you know stilted right so uh the the thing even if you're using the uh the co-pilot to do stuff the more that's ready ahead of time is really what you need now but look at this this layout the way it looks here i think is way better looking than the old one you saw yeah, the old one, the flat pieces. this view i this like is more i just flow. when i was going to enter data i didn't necessarily like that Oh uh, yeah, so the entering data part it looks like the hard one. So, but you remember this one would have had all of those advanced parameters, like yeah. showing up no matter what. Check it out. Now I can actually call them up when I want them. I yeah, can say no, I, I get it. I think I just need a little bit more practice with it. But yes. um, and I you show. can see over here you have a much easier. Oh, this you did not have. Yeah, I like the code view. Your code view, you know. You, oh, how about this? Enable static result. Check it out. You, you don't have that in the old view. Oh, you probably could get to it, but not like this. All right. So there's a lot of advantages over here. Well, yeah, what I'm no, showing. I, I like, like, I like this. It's got the. I think it's got a cleaner view. I like the copilot. I'm not. It wasn't 100 sold sold on the how to to enter the data, but as you were playing with it, I seen stuff that I wasn't. You know, I just kind of do it quickly. So. Um, all right so that's part one part one is like do you like the old the question was did you like the old version or the new version and i'm going to say i did like the new version better for the layout and for the features that are enabled in it um the issues of where to find stuff is still a problem even for me because i'm not always using it every day but if i was probably doing this daily for the next week i'd probably be like psh, psh, ah, i'm all over this i'm fine yeah i get that so my next right. question Yes. Next for the question. users, is Power Virtual Agents gone and totally renamed Copilot? Totally. Yes. Oh, good. That's our next question. That's the next one. Let's go see, shall we? Or just Copilot's version of like, is Power Virtual Agent like, if I want a chat bot, can I create a chat bot, or is that is that now a Copilot? Uh, so let's go see over here. Because I'm going to be honest with you, some of the uh, you see, you'd have to explore all your apps. Some of the documentation has been updated and some of it hasn't. And some of the marketing material. This is the problem. Updated. They're still catching up with it. And we, they know this is a problem. And in fact, I talked to them about this today to Microsoft. And yeah, we know this is a problem. There's no NDA issue here. It's the case of, yeah, we know it's a problem. And yes, we're going to fix it. That's no secret. They're going to do it. The question is when? Maybe that could be NDA because nobody wants to promise something they can't deliver when it when it's happening. Uh, oh, so oh, look at this. Yeah, these are new. These are all new. So we're over here in M365, all this cool stuff over here. Uh, let me go here. This is the M365 site. So I'm going to go to um, our. our virtual agents. No more. See? No. What about Copilot? Is it Power Copilot too? Copilot Studio. Let's see negative oh no, you don't have okay. it look at this power apps okay here's power apps okay i can get there so what used to be the url for power virtual agents and can we try that i can't remember what that used to okay. be we're, we're going to see it in just a second because i can do this was that pba something oh you can get there from here right bots. right over here your chat bots this is still in the power uh, power apps mode i'm going to go new chat bot RVA is what it takes you to initially. Okay, I'm just going to let this go here for just a second so you can see it. All right, and it starts this experience, but look what oh, it says on that. It says Copilot Studio, does it not? Yes. All right, and by the way, it's it's web that Power VA, which is not really a thing. Let's try this. 
let's go to make that co-pilot studio co-pilot co-pilot studio.com let's find out if that works no no it don't like make it that oh the be co-pilot studio.microsoft.com agents.com no no wet no make no make at all for that there is power va they kept the url they kept this all right, I'm just going to call uh, Copilot 1. I'm just going to say go ahead and create just so we see what it looks like. All right. Now, if, we're going to do a couple of things here. If you go here, copilot.microsoft.com, I'm going to let you try it. Well, let's find it over here. Oh, copilot.microsoft.com. That's right. Let's go see if it, it does that just off the bat. There is um, no make it. Uh, copilot.microsoft. Oh, I posted it in the chat, but yeah. <laughs> so you posted, was it Copilot or Copilot Studio that you post? I just did Copilot. I'm just going to do I don't think Copilot Studio, Studio works. Copilot. Oh, Copilot Studio does. No, it's not it's make. Good. Remember the other things? Make that Power Apps, make that Power Automate. It's Copilot Studio. Copilot Studio does out. come up. Not Microsoft. You got that. Right? That's the new URL. Right I'm there. I'm extending my trial. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we found out and we discovered it just by accident by saying, why don't we just type in copilot? But see, what well, we, we kept trying to put in make, right? Make dot, make dot this. In fact, I wonder if make will still work. Anyway, so now we discovered copilot studio. That's a way to go. Okay. So. Uh, and do you have another question besides that? Because I have one to, I want to show you. I do have one more question. Go ahead. Let's do it. And I can't hold on a second. So there was the Copilot Studio. Do, 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 do. Um, Power apps. Nope. I don't know. You can go to yours. I forgot my question. All right. So you can see over here, web.powerva.microsoft.com. And copilot that's usually at Microsoft.com all exist in the same place. Notice though that when I did it from here, it went to the default environment. When I did Copilot Studio the first time, it didn't recognize that preview developer was my environment that I have selected across the board for everybody else. But that was interesting. Okay. All right. So uh, what I was going to try to show is in, in Power Apps. Here's 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 the thing that used to happen in Power Apps. In Power Apps, the idea was we were able to just go in and start with the uh, with bring in an Excel file or start or, or 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 build an app like this. We say I want an app that does blah, and then what does it do? Right? It creates a dataverse table with some yes. data, and then creates like a little gallery and stuff. And you know what you used to be able to do? You, it used the very first version of it gave you a second page, which was that chatbot preview. And then you can talk to your data and say, hey, how many blahs do I have or something like that, right? Then they took right. that away. Then it became just a gallery. And then you had to manually add the copilot control. You could uh -huh. still point it to your data, but it would still work. You could still talk to it. But they broke that or they changed it. So it doesn't work automatically. And I'll show you, I'll show you. First, what we're going to do is we're going to create some data, okay? Uh, I'm going to use Copilot over here to do data. Um, create a, I was going to say create a table of um, PTO requests. A, 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 a dummy table, a dummy table. I, okay, I am uh, uh, trying to create a Power App with Power app. I need test data. Create a dummy table of PTO requests. With the most common things people need to have in on in a request. And put in about 
20 rows of dummy data where some of the quests are open, some are accepted, some are rejected, and some are under review. Oh. Go, go. Oh, that's nice how that prints it out like that. I haven't seen that before. All right, what have I just taught you? I just taught you how to make dummy data. This is the most basic thing. By the way, one of the cool things about Gen AI is to create test data. Yeah, now, that's what I you tell everybody. Do it like this. There is a more formal way to do it. There is a, there. yes, there is a science to test data and all that stuff, you know, to setting up your prompts and rag and all that stuff to do the right thing. But look how quickly this did. Well, what I love about it is that you can create it and then you can go, OK, well, I need 100 more rows or I need 1,000 more rows. OK, watch this. You see this copy command over here. OK, um, let's see if it does. Um, I want to. Can I download this as an Excel file? Aha. No, you cannot. So here's it suggesting what it's suggesting to do. OK, so you know what? When I did this from Bing Copilot, it let me do it. Let me go try that in Bing, OK? Bing.com, Bing because it did it for me last time. So I'm going to try this again in Bing, OK? And I'm going to ask it again the same. Hey, where'd it go? Did it clear? It cleared because it took you to the Copilot for Bing. Wait a minute, but what? Because I went to another page. Here it is. No, I, it it lost my stuff. I wanted to copy paste it. Did you you go back to the go back to your other tab with the where we were at Teams or was it this one? Which where was the other tab located? I don't. Think I don't so. know. You didn't just it. go to Bing from where we were at, right? I lost it. It's gone now. I have Where's to the Copilot over. Studio tab? Don't you have that? Uh, nope. The uh, Copilot Studio tab, let's see, was over here. And no, it doesn't matter where I go to. This is the sidecar in Edge. I don't. I, I scrolled up and it killed it. So here's the thing. When you're doing this, don't scroll up too much. Otherwise, you might kill your stuff. Yeah. Lesson so, learned. Um, it's finicky. Let's go try this again. Did you paste it? Um, let's go to chat over here. Copilot from here, manual. Copilot chat. Right, so this is different than this one over here. I'm in Copilot chat. I'm going to say, I am trying to create a power app. I need dummy data for PTO requests where the most common items are uh, in that request. I need 20 rows of sample data with a mix of requests that have been approved, rejected, rejected under review, or freshly opened. I'm just going to do that one. Need it in a tabular format i can uh save it as an excel file okay let's see what it does okay see now it's doing what i wanted yeah, that's cool. You see this Excel? Watch this. It gave me a blank too. We'll see what that looks like. Oh, it's giving me all the rows. Okay, so let's let's edit in Excel. Exporting. This is what I wanted. It it didn't happen in the sidecar. 
And you remember how the sidecar said, oh, I can't do that. You got to go somewhere else. Yeah. But I did it in Bing.com for free and check it out. Oh, look, look at that. The, the fake, it, it didn't do the, uh, the, the 20, the, the, the full 20 rows. It didn't fill it in. That's weird. Okay. Well, that's not so weird because that's a, it pretty much if we saw, that's exactly what it looked like. Oh, yeah. There's not 20 rows there. There's not 20 rows over there. I asked him to create 20 rows, but it did. It just fill it in. Okay, that's fine. Actually, that's okay. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna keep this over here. So I'm gonna kill this this row over here. Um, delete. I'm just gonna save it because it looks like a table. Okay, and uh, I'm just gonna say make this a table, right? Data uh, filter, then it, it becomes a table instantly. Or I could have done insert table. Insert table my table is headers okay boom okay there it is all right so there's my there's my file so i'm going to go file uh save as i'm just going to put it here on my on my local machine and i'm going to call it uh pto requests pto's asked that's what i'm going to call it and i'm going to save it into my um not my documents area I'm just going to go to, oh, look, hey, I don't want to save a copy into this. I want it into, look, hey, but look at this, because it knew I was in SharePoint. That's where it created it for me. Awesome. So I said, I want to save a copy, but I didn't want to make put it online. Hold on a second. Maybe I'm not supposed to save a copy. One second. I think I did a uh, did a wrong step, but let's hold on. Uh, more places. No, my files. No, I, that's not where I wanted. I wanted to to download. Here we go. Download a copy to my computer. That's what I wanted. Okay, so now I did it right. Bing answers. So let me go ahead and see it here in my downloads. I'm going to rename it to uh, rename PTOs. Hey, come on. Rename again. PTOs as PTO requests. All right. So now let me open it up there. Okay. The idea is I just need a, a sample of data. Let's open it up in Excel. All right, so I can go ahead and, and do other versions of this. Uh, employee ID request status, and over here, I'm gonna put in here, uh, I'm gonna, of course, I gotta click on enable editing. Yeah, always got to do that because of all, you know, you know what they say? It's like when you have to like put in your shoes at the airport because somebody just made it bad for everyone. I'm going to call it requester. And I'm just going to put it uh, Bob B, uh, Jane C, uh, Ralph R, uh, Craig J, um, uh, Raquel R, uh, uh Newson and and uh, uh and uh, Jane T again. All right. So we put that all in there because it was rejected. Now Jane C is under under this one over here. Uh not Jane C. Oh, let's we got a different Jane C R. There we go. All right. So it's a different person. All right, because they're all different employee IDs for the different ones. So I just wanted to have a little bit more. Yeah, uh, I'm going to put here a new one. I'm just going to put an insert. I'm going to put it there. Uh, manager. Uh, manager. And I'm going to put in. Uh, uh, I'm going to put in. Uh, Bill B. Bill B. Uh, Francine F. Francine F. And then. Um, George G, and then Bill B again, and then Bill B. 
Okay, the reason I'm doing that for 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 a reason. Okay, putting them all in. All right, there we go. Let's it's it's let's file save it. Is it safe? File save. File save. All right, so it's saved. Saved to this PC. All right, so we have this. Here's what we're here's what we're gonna do. Right, we're gonna go into Power Apps, and we're gonna bring it in. Start with data. Upload an Excel file. Select from device. All right, and now we're going to go find that download that we just did. PTO requests, open. Let's make sure it brought in the data properly. By ID, requester, manager, request date, start date, end date, reason. That looks okay. good. Great. Great. Yeah. Okay, remember what I told you, what used to work was whenever you created an app or made some of this stuff, you can just talk to it and you're done. No longer the case at the moment. Microsoft might fix it, but there's no date on yet when. And there's a reason why it got broke. And part of the problem is if you create an app and you allow it to just like work where you can just talk to it out of the back, out of the box, what if somebody grabbed nefarious data? It had PCI and other nasty stuff. Yeah. And then you made a copilot that just worked with it right away. Nasty, right? They're forcing you to look at your stuff before you will help people to have your freaking free access to stuff. Maybe you want to look at this a little bit. Well, I'm not so cheerful about the order that they put this in, but that's okay. Maybe I can ask copilot in the future to say, rearrange this so it's easier to use, whatever. All right, so there's my data. It's in there. Right. So now what would I want to do? Say I want to question this data. I want to ask, say, which manager has the most requests? Right. So I'm going to now I'm going to um, I'm going to add a copilot control. But first, I think I need to add a, a screen. So let's make a blank screen. All right. Here we go. Uh, and now I'm going to add the copilot control. Copilot preview. All right, now uh, we're going to connect to that one, the employee leave requests. There it is. Which uh, okay. I missed. Where did you click on? What did you click on? Is it copilot input or just a copilot? Well, here, if I click on this again. I'm oh, sure that's it. popular. I get it. Never mind. So it's kind of small on the screen. On the screen so I thought the that control. Under... all I did was making sure that I selected this. Over here, yeah. I clicked on Copilot Preview and I put it in the screen and then I, and then I, I I phased it out. Okay, all right. So no, I, I was having a brain cramp when I looked over and I saw Copilot Preview. I didn't realize that was under the popular category and I thought it had subcategories like right. an input, so a display. First thing I'm, I'm going to show you over here is when I click on Fields, it seems to be showing me all the fields. All right, that's okay. Let's go now. We're going to talk to it. We're going to ask, okay, which manager? as the most requests. Unable to answer because your data has not been set up to answer questions. You see that? Did you see that error? Yes. That's an error. That's nasty. It's like, well, what do I need to do? I, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm totally stuck. Well, it turns out here's what you got to do. Let's go to the Power Apps again. And I'm in the pre the prime the the premier environment over here. So let's go over here. Um, and let me go to make that power app so we're here to see it. So this is the first experience of like, oh my God, it didn't work. It failed. All those demos that we've seen, all those videos, they're all obsolete. Well, okay, we have to do this. I'm going to show you the steps. So good thing we're recording this. Watch these steps. And I've been given permission to show these steps. There's nothing, there's no secret here. This is just the way. If you ask the co-pilot, you know, a little on the side, how do we do this? It'll show you the links to those steps. But unfortunately, those links are a little, because they're heavy, they'll give you a link to the whole page that yeah. says everything you got to do. It's too heavy. I'm going to show you the simplified version of that. 
So hold on, it's loading up. And I, I clicked on the wrong thing, didn't I? I sure did. Oh, one more time. I clicked on the app. I didn't click on the table. All right, so this is an easy mistake. Again, because I'm looking at it, I just saw the name, I clicked on it. You're supposed to go to the table. The data is not ready because the table is not ready. So you go to the table and chances are whatever you did is in a custom table. And sure enough, there it is, employee leave requests. All right, here's leave requests. All right, I'm looking at it. Hey, that looks all right, okay? Here's what you gotta do. You gotta go into views. You gotta go to the quick find view, the default quick find view. And you're gonna see something right away that you probably haven't noticed before. The first thing I've noticed is that the quick find only has one piece of information over here. And also the view coming back has only one piece of information. If I want it to be able to find other things, I have to make sure that I have them set up over here. So I want the end date. I want a manager. I want um, a reason. I want a requester. I want a start date, uh, maybe a status. Um, request status, that is. Not a status, because if I look at this over here, you'll see this is state code. That's the status of Dataverse. This request status over here, you know how I know it's custom? Because it's got that CR thing in front of it, right? See that CR thing in front? Yep. It says what it is. I could rename that so it's employee ID. Okay, let's apply it. All right. Now, I want to make sure I have the same columns over here showing up. So let's bring in end date. And I have, unfortunately, I have to do this one at a time. Manager. Uh, there's a reason, reason, what else? Um, I saw a reason, I saw a requester, requester. Um, uh, start date, it doesn't matter what order it's in at this point, start date, and then finally um, request status. Okay, now here's the key, save and publish. For folks, if you do this and you get an error, you might think go switch to classic and you make it work over there that it's okay. It's going to fail. If you get an error, that means that your particular tenant is still part of the wave of stuff being updated. There was an error because I ran into it. I was in the middle of that wave update and it broke. And then, and then like a day later, I did this and I'm able to do exactly what you just saw. Save and publish. Apply. All right, just making sure. All right, now let's go back to that Power App that we created over here. Let's see if it if it works now. Okay, but we what we have to do over here is we have to close it. Um, close, 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 close. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, let's refresh. Refresh. Reload. There isn't in there isn't like a, a refresh connection like they have for PBA. I'm going to assume that because I fixed it in Dataverse, that should have been enough to make it work. Hopefully, so let's see. We're crossing our fingers now. I don't think I have to recreate the app with my load. I think it's going to just work. I shouldn't have to because I already have a table. I can, in fact, I could make an app from the table directly. Oh, you still got a screen down there on the left. All right, so here's my screen. All right, and let's go check our data source over here. Let's go check our fields. Those are the correct fields. Do I need to add any of these other fields? No, I think you're good. I don't know. Who's Nobody's missing over here? Are we sure? I that don't should know. Be everybody, right? You did it too I quick for me to know. All right, I think it's okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and run it. Which manager has the most requests? Sorry, I don't know. See, it's broken still. It's still broken. I don't like it. Okay, so let me close this out. Here's what I'm going to do. It may take a bit. 
it may take a bit. That's right. They they were saying that sometimes it takes a little while because it has to. You know what it's doing in the background? It's indexing. It's yeah. putting it in its mind. So um, and the, here's I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna just I'm just gonna force it. Watch this. Let's go. Uh, leave. I'm going to start with data. I'm going to pick an existing table. I'm going to pick that employee leave request, create the app. But so you, I'm, I'm, it's a good thing the errors came in because this is exactly what happens when you're doing this for the first time and you're yeah. doing it. All right, so this is good. Experience that, feel the pain, so you know what it is. And here we go. By the way, let's see what, how it did this time. Oh, check it out. It looks a little bit different. Yeah, it's a little better. And it looks a little bit better, right? Employee ID is in the beginning, and this stuff is over here. So remember when we brought it in from Excel, how it looks sort of, eh. Yeah, it'd have so, to be rearranged. Nope. Right, so let's go ahead and bring it from the blank. Uh, and then we're going to go in and we're going to add again that power, the Copilot preview. And we're going to bring in leave requests. We don't have to select the view or anything. We should be fine with this. Over here, let's save it. And the app is called Employee Leave uh, ELR. As ELO is a, uh, one of my cool bands, ELR. This is the ELR app. All right, here we go. And we're going to play. Which uh, manager has the most requests? Come on. Answer me, buddy. Answer me. Uh, look at this. Bill. Bill B has two requests. Francine Five has two, and George C has one. Bill B has the most. And wait a minute, you see what it how it answered? Not only did it say Bill B had four requests, but it also said, "Here's all the other ones." I'm telling you, Bill B has the most because here are the other ones. I, that's, I'm showing you my work. Good job. Okay. Yeah. Who yeah. Uh, uh, submitted most requests? Uh, for PTO. Let's see if there's anyone. Is yeah, request out? Oh, that didn't work out. See that? That oh, okay. We must be missing that field. Always work because you're, uh, the question that you're asking maybe didn't fill uh, fill in the uh, fill in the data. In other words, the data over here didn't look so good. Let's go open that data again and take a quick look at it. All right, so download. So let's look at that data. As I say, when you're testing, take a look at your data and be sure you have what you got. Now, as you can see, there are no, the answer would not have been there, would not have been a good question to ask. All right. Yeah, because uh, it's all different. We can ask, for example, uh, uh, which requesters, uh, which requesters, um, what do they call it? Report uh, the bill. Which requester submitted it to Bill? Uh, request is sent to Bill. Um, under review. Yeah, I want to. Okay. What are the uh, uh, requests with the uh, under review? See what it says. Hey, the, the first request, Ralph R, who requested to leave medical appointment from this day. The second request, but look how complete that information is now. That is awesome. And by the way, when I did this earlier on a different system, the date came as 2024-17-4, you know, like a nasty format. This one came out with a beautiful format. And I wonder, because look at this, you see this? Yes. I was expecting the answer like this, but somehow, this particular AI said, I'm going to give you a nice, beautiful date. That's cool. 
that was cool. But did you see earlier when we started this and we just brought it in and just played and it didn't work? And then we had to go in and do that little that little trick. And right now, the only thing that we did differently was we reconnected to that data, yeah. right? And then made it work. Now, uh, probably the other one, if I refresh it after a couple of times, might suddenly start working. Yeah. Maybe. It's all about failing smartly and, and building on what you learned. Right. So this is still work in progress. This is still, as you saw, it says Copilot Preview. Okay. Remember that. All right. But this stuff is now is becoming more alive. Now, uh, uh, if we had our guest over here, we had a guest that we were going to come up. He was going to explain to us in technical terms why this happens and also why it's a big deal. Because it's a big deal. Uh, and I'll explain really quickly. It's a big deal to have structured data. And what's structured data? Anything that looks like a structure like this, something that's in SQL or something. When you have structured data and you put a point AI at it, there are steps that you have to do in every case. If you're doing this like by hand under the covers for stuff, there's stuff you got to do. Otherwise, it screws up. Because what is Gen AI? Gen AI says, give me a PDF with a table or whatever, and I will just figure it out, which is not a very good thing or a very good thing. You can get your in answers fast, yeah. but the whole point of structured data is so that you can really, really focus the answers like this guy and focusing it like that. So um, I, and it, it, as far as Copilot goes, this is nice for everything else, but I would, I would want a way. You remember what we saw over here on the controls? You know what would be nice if I could do this? Generate if a I Power could, BI. Take this control and then have a, an advanced setting that says add in like my own rag or my own pre-prompt. Maybe right. my prompt will say, make sure all requests include this information or do not include the name of the person or like, you know, do security or do this or do any of those things. In other words, I would form it. If remember when we were using the power, the, uh, the, the Bing BI and we asked it questions and everything else. Oh, but I'm here. I mean, there is responsible AI in here, you know, Seika. Okay, so I'm just going to say I love you, Copilot. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know that one yet. Then learning. Now, I did it on another one, and you know what it said? I love you, too. Awesome. <laughs> just I'm hey, here to I'm, Ralph, I'm here. We're to getting help. into almost an hour and a half on this part. All right. Okay, so we, we pretty much covered up a lot of stuff. So we, we showed the uh, Power Automate you know, uh, nuances and, and foibles. We found where Copilot Studio and web and the Copilot stuff come to bear. Maybe next time we'll actually show you using it or something. But yes. I also, I wanted to make sure that everyone got to see how that Copilot actually still works when people may have like, oh my God, it doesn't work anymore. I'm showing you, yes, it still works. You just have to eh, do this little step. Yes, and we showed them that you don't have to be perfect at it, that you can, you know, that not everything will work and you just as long as you keep plugging along, you'll get it eventually. Plugging along and keep going. You could have, again, I could have just asked the co-pilot over here, how do I, uh, how do I use, uh, how do I create or, or how do I um, use Power Automate to make a uh, approval workflow for my boss's PTO management? management. Okay, watch. This is just the copilot on this side. Remember, it's like every time you ask the copilot the same question on any copilot, the answers will be different. So this guy will show me something, right? And then the M365 copilot, the ID over there is you do it over here and you say, would you like me to do this for you? You click a button, it does it. I could have yes. gone to the bing.com and asked the same question, maybe got a slightly different answer, but look how it's giving me all the steps, right? So if I get stuck, if you get stuck, Ask the copilot, hey, this is not working for me. What am I doing wrong? And then you explain your steps. It'll try to come over and, and give you some ideas. Check it out. It's giving you, look at all those details. Yeah, nice. Nobody has an excuse anymore. No, no very little excuses. <laughs> you have a, you have your copilot master to help you out, <laughs> to be sure, right? Uh, but again, if you get stuck, and then uh, there's still the humans. We're still out here. We're on... We're on the, the social media. We're over here. You can still ask us. We might know Twitters. people. We're on the Twitter stream. We're on the stream. We might we might know people. So we might be able to get past whatever the copilot might be blocking you from. Don't get blocked. We'll unblock you. 
So to wrap it up, Ralph, thanks again for driving. Um, sure. And answering my questions and doing the demos. And sure thing. The fun stuff. All right. Uh, I have try to do this in about four weeks. That help out. I have a stakeholder that needs to study for school, so I got to take care of her right now. Yeah, I got a couple doing that too. So. You got the stakeholders. I'll, I'll talk to you later and uh, All right. we can stop recording. All right.